do you have leftover bits of ink splotchy paper? I'm going to show you how to make a really cool card with them today. Hey everybody, it is LJ here and today we are going to be doing some card making. Now I have this incredibly cute stamp set from Clearly Besotted called Autumn Flowers. And I did some ink splotching um, oh, ages ago. And I had some bits and pieces left. And I did some with autumnal colours. So I thought that I would use them today. So I have these stamps that I was going to cut freehand. And then I have these dies which I thought would be cute to die cut some as well um, and then I do have these leaves but I don't know if I'm going to use them so I'll put them over that side so I have sort of a reddy yellow more of a reddy orange a yellowy brown this one that's sort of got a bit of everything in you can see where I've used bits of this is fine a ruddy orangey brown and then a deeper red and so some of them I'm going to stamp on some I'm just going to die cut and then we're going to put it all together on a card so I hope you enjoy and I will come back and show you at the end so I'm going to use my little side kit to die cut the bits that I'm going to die cut and then we'll go so let's start with I'm going to start with the stamping because I'm likely to lose the die cut pieces so let's start by stamping and I'm going to not going to stamp them in black I'm going to stamp them in brown I think I think brown is going to be less on these. So this is Versicolor Bark 154. So I just stamped out some of these beautiful leaves onto a variety of different papers in that brown. So I've just done a couple on each sheet. I wanted the majority of these to be die cut but I did want a few with this detailing on because they are just they're beautiful. Then I got out my small little die cutting machine and then I just figured out which bits of paper would cut nicely, popped them through, did the, the solid leaves, did the branch one as well. I adore this stamp set. This stamp set is a die set, so ignore me saying stamp set. I adore this die set. Oh wow, it's a Sue Wilson die set, and here's an image of what it looks like. It's an absolutely wonderful die set, and I love it to pieces. It's so good for someone who loves autumn, because you just get such beautiful shapes. Um, and then, as usual, I get a visitor. What's the matter? What? What's the matter, huh? What is the matter? Let's move these out of your way. Come here. Come here. Because I really don't want you to knock off all the bits that I've cut out. Come here. Come on, say hello. Come on. Hello, yes. That's it. Good girl. Come and settle. Put your bum in my face. Come on. Leave the bits of paper. That's it. Good girl. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Come on. No, stop. No, you're not getting any attention. Come over here. Come here if you want me to stroke you. Come over here. What have you got in your foot? You've been... How and why have you got that much dust in your toes? Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? Come on. Come lie down. There you go. Good girl. Come on. Hopefully don't kill it. We are back. I have my huge pile of leaves here. Um, get out the little bits where I've cut some of them. Um, I have a pre-made card base. And I have put this arrow on because these are 6 by 6 cards. They're not 6 by 6 when you fold them, they are something awful, and I know I moan about this all the time. So this is five and 
13 sixteenths and this way is 5 and 14 sixteenths so 7 eighths sorry so what I do I measure my paper out and I just put arrows so I know the direction so each mat and layer that I've cut I've put a little arrow on so that I know which way it goes and so I'm going to mirror the sort of colours of the leaves so we're going to have a brown we're going to have a red I'm going to have an orange like so and then we're going to have another white that has moved ever so slightly so we're going to have four layers like that and then our design is going to be on this white sheet so all i'm going to be working on for now is the white sheet i'm going to use our leaves <laughs> throw them over because they get stuck to my glass i'm probably not going to use all of them so i'm going to choose some i'm going to have as a rough plan this is not what it's going to look like i'm going to have a sort of these up here as if there were trees or a tree or something like so and then we're going to have a sort of a pile of leaves down the bottom sort of a big pile of different sizes going all the way round piled up as if it is a pile of leaves and then I'll still have some leaf neck left for another project so I am going to pop it on speed up again and I shall see you at the end. I also decided I needed something else for this card so I did a stamp and colour and then fussy cut out this cute little pug. This was from an A4 stamp set that came with um, I believe Creative Stamping magazine. Would have been beginning of last year I would imagine so quite a while ago but any sort of dog would fit here. They did have some bigger dogs that I kind of wanted to do but it didn't fit on the card so <laughs> This, this little pup was the right sort of size so I'm just going to fussy cut him out and then we're going to start doing our leaves and bringing this card together. So as I said I did some branches across the top I kind of wanted to make it seem like he was sat underneath sort of a, a whole row of trees a whole forest wood of trees you know a couple of trees in the garden however and wherever I wanted him to be within these um, and have the leaves falling down around him which I thought was very cute. So I've stuck a couple of them across the top and we're going to just sort of add a few more just to fill it out so that it doesn't look quite so sparse and empty because, you know, it, it's autumn leaves so although they are falling it's not a completely empty tree. So I'm just going to add a few more across the top like that just to fill in those gaps, give it a bit more of a sort of a full foliage really. And then all those bits that are over the side I'm just going to turn the sheet over and cut them off. I turn it over to cut it because then I get a much neater closer cut than I do if I was cutting from the front. So once I've got those aligned at the top we can start doing our, our big 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 pile of leaves at the bottom. So I'm using these larger leaves first as the base and as you can see I'm only gluing either along the centre or down at the bottom of these leaves because what I want to be able to do is to tuck them in between each other so they go in front of some behind others uh, just so it looks like a proper pile rather than it all being Oh, everything goes in this one direction and it's all in front of each other neatly. No, I want it to be a bit more of a messy look. So there, as you can see, I've tucked that one behind one leaf and in front of another. And that way it just makes it look a bit more of a full pile. But it also adds on that nice sort of feel of, of dimension, really. So once we've got all those stuck on, we're going to add our little pup on the top. And then we're going to add a few leaves around him. Because obviously he's not just going to be sat on top as if he's floating. So I've made it a little bit bigger. I've popped him in just there. And then I'm just going to put a couple of leaves in front of him to make it look natural. Okie dokies. We are back with our card. So here is my autumn leaf card. I absolutely love this. I think it's super cute. Um, I decided to do a little pug at the top of the pile of leaves. And then I added a little spider and a little snail as well and just some branches over the top and then we've got our brown red and orange layers which i did manage to stick the orange very wonky but i think it adds character doesn't it so <laughs> yeah um so yeah there is mine i'm leaving it completely blank inside currently because i'm not sure what i want to use this with i want this for a thank you a birthday what i'm not sure now i haven't stuck all of these leaves down so they do lift up around which i think is really cute so each leaf stuck in a different position so you can go under some um 
you know you can get you can get in and under and through the pile of leaves which i think is even more cute so yeah please give this video a big thumbs up if you have liked it and if you haven't already please consider subscribing if you're already subscribed you are awesome thank you very much for spending time with me today guys keep crafting and i'll see you all soon bye